Hey everybody, my name is Toby Shepard. I make a lot of the video content with Ultimo GG. In this bootcamp, we're gonna run through a little bit how uh, I made the rebrand trailer. We're gonna sort of jump over a few topics. We're gonna to jump over the audio, the graphics card creation, and how we cut together the clips and how we decide what best shots are and stuff. So let's get cracking. But before we do, we're just gonna quickly watch what it is we're gonna be discussing. Cool. All right, so there we have it. Uh, pretty cool trailer. Um, I think it does the job very well. Uh, it obviously shows off our new color scheme, our new logo, uh, what we're all about as a company, what we intend to keep creating going forward. So what we're gonna be talking about now is the process of how we get started. So normally what I would do is I would always look for a soundtrack first. And in this case, we found this cyberpunk trailer. Uh, by this guy called Epic Max. Uh, really good piece of music. Audio jump. You know, it's really tense. Really cool. Sort of fits the uh, sort of etiquette and theme of the company and what we're trying to deliver with this video. So we go ahead and we download that. Um, first thing we do, you know, for example, is we drag it into a new comp. So imagine all of this stuff is gone, right? And all we have is this. This is our soundtrack right here, so we, we solo this. Cool, so that's our soundtrack right there. We start cutting that together, so immediately we go straight in with a hit and a graphic slate. So with the soundtrack being in place, we then think, okay, what can we do now? We start populating the, the timeline here with graphics cards um, and using the, using the musical cues to guide us here. We go through piece by piece, add in our slates so these can start off as just guideline text layers this is what i mean when i say a text edit i mean this uh, right so it starts off right you have your logo intro clips 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 blah 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 introducing oh, uh, Right, you get what, you get the picture, right? You know, you go file, new, uh, legacy title, right? So already, before you've added any video at all, you've already got your soundtrack, how long your video is gonna be, and an idea of where your text cards are gonna sit throughout. It's a good way of starting your edit because it immediately gives you a sense of direction and a sense of like accomplishment already. And you can just start working from here on out, uh, populating the rest of the edit. After we got to get to this point, we think, okay, we need to go find some videos of the gameplay um, so in in the past we've made content with uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare uh, Warzone with uh, Valorant with Rocket League with FIFA with with Call of Duty Mobile um, so we we have all of those clips on hand some of them are sort of top 10 kills things like that so already we've got really good content to work with. So we just we just cut down the bits that are sort of most enjoyable. We think they're gonna hit the hardest uh, and I just stick them in the edit in between our graphics card placements. That's basically how we, how we start to create an edit. And then from then on, what you wanna do is start changing your default text cards into, you know, into your actual good looking nice text cards. And for that, we need Adobe After Effects. And in Adobe After Effects, uh, this is this is what I've done. So you start off, you make a new composition, 1920 by 1080, whatever frames per second your comp is. It doesn't have to be very long since they're only gonna be on screen for like two or three seconds. Um, so you, you just make a text card that's like 
slightly longer than what you need, so five seconds in total here. Um, and uh, we start doing an animation. And so what I've done is I took a text layer, uh, typed in weekly tournaments, as you can see, changed it to our font, which is Metro Bold. Uh, so we've got our background here, which is our dark purple solid. That's literally just taken from the color scheme in our style guide. Um, and, you know, it's just a little, little, uh, little purple color, literally taken from our style guide. That's our background. Boom, toggle that on and off there. Your text toggles on and off. Your text is applied to a uh, animation preset, which is applied to this layer here, this null object layer. So you get this like subtle move in and out, right, like that. This is parented to this null above it, which has a little animation at the front, which sort of rushes the text in at the start like this so it sort of slams in because obviously we're going to be hitting these text cards on musical cues which are like very big beaty beaty hits so it slams in moves really softly outwards um, and then we have a little texture uh, on this um, on this text but it's it's using something called a luma mat so if I show you what this texture looks like it's just like a square geometry pattern right um, different shades of the color uh, blue uh, so what a luma mat does is it takes the um, the luminance values of these different shades here and uh, overlays them on top of your text so you know gives it a nice little texture here um, and then for the Oh, there's a few smoke layers in here, so without those it kind of looks kind of flat. The smoke just adds another sort of secondary layer of movement, so your eyes, have, you know, are always looking at something. Um, and then, of course, there is a particle layer at the bottom. So that is how we make the graphics cards, and then you basically just duplicate this comp, right? So this weekly tournament's comp right here. You duplicate this comp, call it the hottest news and content, duplicate it again, change the text to regular streams, duplicate again, merchandise you get the idea and so we were we were creating this video for different formats and so you have the uh, 9 by 16 aspect ratio here and this one would have been for uh, Instagram and so you basically just for, for that you, you just you know f find your comp you can right click this button here you can go reveal composition and project right so this this guy you duplicate control D um, and then in this comp right you, you, you say okay you go up here this button here composition settings you change this width to 1080 by 1920 you get this shape and then basically what you do is you select this uh, layer here scale it up to fit the shape to fit the shape of the you know new comp right so it's like would have been like that before now it's just like that and that's that's pretty much it like the graphics creation is pretty easy if you know sort of what buttons you're pressing fire all of those renders out bring all of those new renders of those graphics into our bins over here so we've got graphics you know these are all of our these are all of our renders so for example you know got that nice big hit in there that nice soft soft that text that, that texture moves up there this is, that's that's what it looks like in its rawest form you know nice looking little graphic same for all of them right really cool um, and then you go through your timeline replace everything that you did before from that point on you just start filling up the gaps with different clips that are kind of kind of nice you know so I started off this the very first clip that we see is this one with the you know the number three as in like a sort of three two one idea um, you know, I thought it'd be kind of cool, but I didn't actually continue that with the shot two and the shot three. Um, I just thought I'd introduce all of the games at that point. Throws a, throws a C4 onto the guy driving along, and then pops it. You know, you should always get a trophy system on top of your vehicle, or you are a gonna. You edit to the beat, right? So we have this really nice, this really nice drop in the music here. Okay, so that's gonna hit really hard right on that, right on the beat, you have this huge explosion. Things like that are really good to include because it, it sort of gives you the idea that the edit's been really thought about. Like it's 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 been approached really methodically where you're gonna, you know, place things. Or like, for example, the sniper shot from Valorant here comes right on the beat. So like things like that are just really sort of impactful. And then sort of speaking of impact, the way you can uh, continue to sort of add elements of sort of fun to the edit 
is you um, say, say so, so. So you've added all of your uh, graphics and your clips. At this point, you render out a copy. So Control M brings up your rendering window. Um, you just select, you know, any old preset that you want. But what we're going for is QuickTime and a ProRes preset here. Uh, so you don't even have to ex export the audio. So you just, you know, export this out, drag that file into After Effects. You're gonna be adding some wicked transitions to make those beats hit a bit harder. And what I mean by that is a handy little tool called Handy Seamless Transitions. You see this? So within this, uh, within this tool, there is different transitions that you can add, right? So that guy zooms in with a nice little vibrate at the end. Things like this are really fun because, see what I mean? You don't have to really worry about what's going on. You can just you could just drag this literally over the top of your content. So for example, we bring our previews over here. This is our layer down at the bottom. This is our freshly rendered layer. This one over here. So by itself, it doesn't have any movement, right, between this shot and this shot. It's just a hard cut, right? Boom, hard cut. With the transition, we end up with this sort of cool looking, you know what I mean? Fun looking transition there. And it just adds another level of sort of creativity, you know? Boom, right there. Excellent. And so you can just go through and pinpoint, you know, key areas throughout where you've where you've got really nice hard beats to edit around. So this one at the end of the headshot is a really good one. And so I've chosen to do the, uh, I think I've done a pull out through the sniper scope in this one, I believe, yeah. So we're pulling out through the sniper scope, boom, into the text card. And the text card is pulling towards the camera. As you remember anyway, it slams in. So you have this really cool, you know, it, it works well with the following with the following cards uh, movement. Pull out of the text card into the, the sorry, you pull out the sniper scope into the text card. And so that is pretty much how how I've created this edit. I think it's extremely effective. Um, it's a clean, fast, fresh way of editing, and I think you know it does the job for this purpose quite well. You can sometimes do something called a mix. Take a look at this right hand side over here. Uh, it might go red at the top, right? That means it's peaking. Right there, you see? So that meant when the sniper uh, sound here, okay, when that came in, it peaked the audio. So if you, if you, so if, if we render this and then you listen to it, that might sound like a crackle. You know, when you get someone's microphone and it's really, really loud and it starts popping. That is what this red light that's what that's telling you, is that that's gonna pop if you render it out. So you just basically drag this comp into a new timeline. And so we click on this, we jump into our, excuse me, audio track mixer. So this sometimes looks like that. You just press this little arrow, twirl it down, right? Jump into any of these little, you know, drop down menus, you can add different effects onto them. So this is affecting our audio track over here, which consists of all the audio in this entire edit, right? In this one track, apply an effect to this layer called a multiband compressor. In this multiband compressor, uh, you have several options. So if you were doing, for example, a, you know, if you were editing music or some vocals, you could, you could, you could select raise vocals, right? So your vocals are a lot clearer, maybe in an interview, that could be a good idea. Um, broadcast is a good one, so that if you're editing for television, broadcast is where you'd want to go, because then that would never peak above, I think it's minus 15 decibels, um, because television will then take that clip and then do further processing to it. Um, but then at least the, the raw footage that you're supplying them won't be peaking. For this instance, I've gone with drums, because I think it adds a really, really nice level of, uh, it's like a really warm, bassy sound. See what I mean? Um, it, nothing pops, it keeps it right below the limiter here. Um, and so you can pretty much just be safe that what you're using from the multiband compressor is not gonna peak over the level 
of uh, you know that zero decibel there and start popping everyone's speakers. Um, and in, in terms of this edit, that is that is that is the whole thing. It's a bit time consuming trying to get all the clips that you want just right, trying to get those little fine tunes on the graphics just right. Um, but uh, yeah, that is that is how we've done the edit. I hope you guys you know learned something from this video. It can be quite daunting and intimidating to get into editing uh, when you first start, but it's about it's about knowing the synergy between your two programs. For me, it's just Premiere and After Effects, right? Just these two. Knowing how they can work together, knowing how you can utilize good tools like Audio Jungle. You know, people work really hard to make their living using things like Audio Jungle. So you get a really nice, good quality, amazing piece of music quite cheaply. You can go ahead and use that for your piece. So yeah, there you guys have it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow the channels, follow all the socials, the Discord, get involved with the community um, there's going to be a ton more content like this and obviously all of our gameplays and reviews uh, in the future and um, thank you very much for tuning in to this edit bootcamp i've been toby shepherd and uh, we'll see you next time